trying to get to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overheat. Where the heck is the way in? Oh, this way. Alright, good. You guys are in trouble now. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you know where I am. Overheat. Hi. <gasps> Bye. Out of my way. Ooh, a sniper. Impressive. Yeah, um, how about a uh, weapon glitch? Reboot optics. Take that. And that. Do I even need to do anything? Take you out of your misery. Sorry, boys. Not really. Hmm. Thank you. Take all. All in today's work. Archive conversation, Wilson Billy. All right, Jooms, got a little problem. We were supposed to grab that container at the dock, right? Well, that sh stuffhead Diego sent it to the warehouse in Rancho Coronado instead. Now you gotta get your a your arses down there, grab our stuff, move it, and let me know when you're done. Okay. Well, they're done. Very done. Yep. That did it. All in a day's work. The Delmain cab is right there. Alright, I need to get... to that thing. Let me go through here. Get back to my vehicle. But then I can meet up with River tonight. One. Mitch Anderson. We're holding a funeral for Scorpion. Oh, yeah, of course and others. I thought maybe you'd want to come along, say goodbye, fire rifle in the air to honor the fallen, and so on. Oh yeah, of course. The thing that I'm really- oh, nice. The thing that I'm really afraid of is- oh man. Ooh, I'll talk about that later. Signal strength? Hey, buddy. Get in. We'll find it easier to talk. Okay, this is pretty creepy. The thing I'm afraid of is that we never actually saw Scorpion die or saw a body. So I'm worried that he might not be dead and actually is like being turned into, I don't know, a mutant or something. That's my worry that we'll run into him again and it'll be like a psycho, psycho or I don't know, psycho, can he psycho whatever. You know what I'm talking about, but we'll see. Uh, how'd you know my name? This is this you know might be really name. creepy. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? You didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. I'm from another world? So, I'm from another world to you. From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. A human, basically. And you come from... Be 
beyond the Black Wall, Lee. There lies my home. Oh, you are a Grey Warden? Black Blackwall? You're a Grey Warden? Come on, let's get you back to Dolomain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. In the grip you ought to figure it out with Dell. Said in the junk in the junkyard? Oh yes. Terms there will be, but not with Delamain. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. Oh, he's that a warning, eh? Okay. Wait for Delamain to call. I've reestablished the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Hmm. Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. I think there's going to be more to this one. Yeah, I think there's going to be more to this one. Creepy, creepy, creepy. All right, I want to do updated. I want to go to Scorpion's funeral. Well, well, special favors to politicians. You think any, you've got any clout here? The par paralezes might seem like decent and down-to-earth folk, not sitting snug in the corp pockets like the rest, but they're still part of the running elite fee. If they gotta step over you to get to the top, they won't hesitate. Don't believe even for a second that they're any different. I mean, that's fair. Uh, NCPD boy in blue gives you a holler and you come running and like an obedient dog. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's River, so yeah. This ain't gonna be a habit, is it? Absolutely. Well, whatever. Sounds like he's got an errand for you. Real personal kid. At least it's it's better than chasing dead politicians. Just do me a favor. Don't get used to it. I will get used to it if I want. Sinner man, fool on the hill. Uh, beat on the brat, beat on the brat, beat on the brat. Psycho killer, beat on the brat. Where's the funeral? Uh, reported crime in other circle. Reported crime lost and found. Women, many ways to skin a cat, old friends. Perel's apartment. Where's the, here, let me go to the map. By, oh, here. That's probably, yeah, that's probably where the funeral is. Let me go to that. I can't reverse. I can't reverse. Darn it. All right. I'm just going to have to hoof it this way. Oh, darn. Darn it. I'm just going to hoof it. Hoof it. Hoof it. Hoof it. It's still early. I got plenty of time before I have to help with uh, River out. So going to Scorpion's funeral. Hopefully he we don't Meet him later as a psycho killer. Gosh. This junkyard sure is m massive. I need to get to the road. How do I get to the road? Yeesh. Am. Oh, what else, What do you need now, girl? Um, you were right, V. It's good to be back with your people. In NC, I feel like the loneliest person in the world. Family games are really jammed, but still. No, I wouldn't say that. Trying make me jealous, huh? You're not wrong about NC. I guess I'll say that. Trying not to make me jealous, huh? You're, you're not wrong about NC. Uh, at least you are... All of you are together. Won't lie, it's tempting. So it's official. Pan Am's a bright again. I love how they... They text you so quickly after. Like, I I send her this response, and boom, she gives me three text messages, like, just like that. Still hasn't really hit me yet. 
I'm still giving myself a trial period. You can't expect everything right from the start, but I feel like things are taking a turn for the better. Not like you don't know where to find us. You helped us in our time of need. You'll always be welcome here. Anyway, I have to go with it before they get before they get drunk off their arses or start another race. Take care, V. Well, I'm gonna see you soon at at Scorpion's funeral. So yeah, this is come on, come on, come on, come on, V. Oh, that's so that was painful. Okay. Let's get to the street. I'm angling over to the street. Oh, thank the maker. There's the street. I need my vehicle. There's my baby. There's my Jackie. Thank you. Get on. All right. Wide open road, dirt sand. If you ever need anything, you know where to find us. Uh, but most, still most beautiful things I've seen in my life. But still one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life. Thank you. If you ever need anything, you know where to find us. Well, again, I'm going to be seeing you guys at the funeral. Up here, apparently. I think. I think that's where the funeral is, right? Well, maybe it's not the funeral. I don't know. What's going on over here? Look what I found. Wow. Whose was that? Josh's. He had it since he was a child. Hey, V, come here. A little closer now. That much remains. Let the wind oh. carry them. Let the rain wash them away. Grave deceased. Come on, man. So, am I supposed to do something here? Corporate Wars the Musical. Absolutely phenomenal, Ziggy Q. True to art and history, Karina Lee. There were many explosions, Jillian, Jordan, and 15 are news. Oh, wow. Act 1. The fourth corporate war is underway. Saburo Arasaka is displeased with the progress of his son, K, who is commanding Arasaka's forces. He instructs K to defeat the enemy in order to prove, to prove himself as a worthy successor. K desires, above all, to gain the acceptance and pride of his cruel father. So he devises a scheme to place all blame of the war's outbreak squarely on Militech. Their conversation is overheard by Sarah, a Militech agent, and also the beloved adoptive daughter of General Donald Lundy. Sarah concludes that the only way to quickly end the bloody conflict is to assassinate Kay. General Lundy comforts his daughter and gives her courage. Soon, Andrew, a young idealist and idolater of Saburo, arrives in Night City. His dream is to find the last living seagull in the world, so he attempts to stow away aboard an Arasaka ship? Okay. Then he is discovered, apprehended, and mocked by Arasaka security personnel. Meanwhile, Sarah, Sarah is preparing her ambush against Kay, who is due to inspect the ship this very same day. When her target appears, Sarah is poised to fire her gun when suddenly her eyes lock with Andrews. Time stops, sparks fly, young love is born. After a moment, Sarah shakes free of her daze and fires at Kay. She misses. Andrew then intervenes, shielding Kay with his own body. The Militech agents must flee the scene. Kay had noticed the twinkle in the eyes of the young lovers when their eyes met. Under the guise of gratitude for saving his life, he decides to use Andrew as bait in a trap for Sarah. He orders his scientists to heal the young man's gunshot wound and secretly installs a synthetic heart. 
containing a nuclear bomb? Really? He formally accepts the young, grateful man in the Arasaka Armed Forces. Knowing Andrew's reason for stowing away, he convinces him that Militech is responsible for the destruction of the marine ecosystem and seagull population. Okay, somebody seriously needs to create this musical. They need to create a script and then compose the music, all these songs that... This is kind of awesome, actually. Act 2. Sarah returns to General Lundy after failing her mission with her father's love... With the Father's love, he is able to forgive her, comfort her, and offer her a chance at redemption. He assigns Sarah to lead the charge on Arasaka ta Tower and end this nightmarish war for good. Still smitten from the brief encounter, Sarah and Andrew simultaneously come up with the same plan to search for the other in cyberspace. By chance, they find each other at a virtual coral reef. At first, they are overwhelmed with the unbridled passion of new love, but quickly realize they can never be together. Andrew erroneously accuses Militech of destroying the original coral reef, causing Sarah to realize that her beloved has become a member of Arasaka's security forces. Both corporations are preparing for the final confrontation. Andrew and Sarah mourn their unrequited, requ unrequited love. General Lundy worries about over the risks of his soldiers face. Saburo reminds his son that he has only one more chance to earn his father's pride and respect. Kay has come to the conclusion that his victory cannot be assured, so he decides to instead blow up Arasaka Tower and pin the blame on Militech in the hopes of earning his father's love in death. Sarah's unit enters Arasaka Tower. The two lovers meet as battle rages on around them, but neither can bring themselves to harm the other. Kay attempts to detonate the bomb in Andrew's heart, but the detonator fails. Struck with a nefarious idea, Kay instead shoots Sarah, <gasps> killing her on the spot. Andrew's heart breaks with grief, causing the bomb inside to detonate. In the moment before the explosion, Andrew gazes up into the sky and witnesses a seagull soaring overhead. The nuclear bomb explodes, destroying the tower, the young man, the seagull, and his dreams. Wow, that's depressing. Andrew's Lament. I dreamed a dream of endless sea. Ara Arasaka at the helm. Today my dreams are nothing but... How is this supposed to be, to be sung? What? Where are these things... Right? Oh... I dreamed a dream of an endless sea across the helm. Today my dreams are nothing but miss, and I'm nothing but down? How is none of those rhyme? My eyes wish never to see again, covered in a sea form veil of gray. I see, I now see only the black abyss, my chrome heart girled in pain. Arasaka Corp brought my soul in exchange for blood and mourn. The strength in me has forever died, and a corporat was born. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how this is supposed to be. Helm and down don't rhyme. Okay, that was actually starting to seem really awesome, and then they had to like end it so depressingly. Hey, everybody! I don't think I've been here yet. More things. Protein farms or a port? Protein farms are currently the source of most meat and meat substitute products in Night City. Biotechnica is the clear industry leader, providing for over half of the city's demand for alternative protein. Currently the most popular, albeit cost-intensive form of production, is based on protein-rich crickets, which allow producers to achieve the highest quality protein. Earthworms are available as a cheaper alternative, achieving a higher yield of product per square meter. However, worms pose a more difficult marketing challenge. While crickets have become acceptable, most consumers still bristle at being told to go eat worms. But they'll eat crickets. Hey. I've had both crickets and mealworms. Hey, kiddo. Um, what is this? What is this? Chrome Night Love? Chrome Night Love? That sounds like a romance novel. Give me the Chrome Night Love. Crowman's mask glinted in the light of the setting sun, like a beacon in the dark of this rotten city. Lucille's heartbeat began to quicken. Her legs trembled beneath her. Hot blood pumped through her veins in a way she didn't know it could. He looked at her, his strong, masculine figure towering over the bloodied corporate corpse, who just a moment ago had violently tried to defile Lucille's virtue. What's the matter with me? Her mind raced. Why him? Why me? Hundreds of questions burned her head, but then she finally parted her lips to speak. Only one question emerged. Who are you really? Um, Charmin took Lucille into his cold metal hands. She flinched at the touch. 
You know I can't tell you that. They'll find you. They'll rip my secret out. You out you any way they can and then kill you. I I don't care about that that about any of that. I love you. I love you. She couldn't feel his face, his real one, concealed under that veil of chrome, but she could have sworn she could hear a note of emotion in his deep voice. You love a dream. You don't know who hides under this mask. I don't care what you look like. What if I'm disfigured? I can afford an operation. And if I'm an android? It doesn't matter. And if, then suddenly, in one swift motion, Chromen removed the mask to reveal the face of Damita de la Vale. If I am a woman, Lucille stood there dumbstruck. A tempest of emotion swirled in a frenzy throughout her being. But in another moment, the storm calmed, and she smiled warmly, taking her savior's face into her hands. The proverbial clouds of her tumultuous mind began to part. Lucille was beginning to see clearly at last. How many times does a woman need to say she loves you? Lucille smirked and whispered softly, Before you believe her. That's a cool story. That ended a lot better than the other one. That I Than the musical. That's for sure. Somebody called my name. I heard somebody say, Hey V. But I didn't... I didn't... Where is this, this funeral supposed to be? Oh, there he is. Oh, hey there, Mitch. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. What's, all, what's going on, buddy? So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. I know, buddy. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Uh, yeah. Name was Jackie. Yeah. Name was Jackie. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Yeah. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. Of what? course. Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Sure. No, I'm like, I'll help, of okay. course. I'll help. I've been looking come for you on, then. all over the place, apparently. Of course I'm going to help. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah. Okay. And? Yeah. We're going for a drive. All right. Uh -huh. That's fine. And where? where? I can tell you're a city boy. You want to know everything now, yesterday. A well, little I patience, V. All right, all right. Nice ride. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rake. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions. You hop in the other. Uh, why don't we just take one car? Why don't we just go together? Why don't we just take one? Because we need two. Shit. You're about as useful as a data term helpline. You'll see me. Trust me. Where are we going? <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously. I'm still, I'm, where are we where going? Are we going? Huh? One of scorpions' favorite spots. Okay, okay. I owe him one, V. All right, let's roll. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Get in Mitch's car. Wow, he wants me to use his car. Wow. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. Oh, come on, Mitch. I want to socialize. Whoa. Ah, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. I haven't seen you in a while. Actually, we see him all the time. Uh, close. Yeah, you and Death don't really mix. Yeah. You say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. Neither did I. I hope this place is too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little boy scout. That's so me. Trusting, so accommodating. That's me, Johnny. That's scorpion. His last wish or something. Is that good enough for you? Great. Whoops, Never sorry. Moment. Johnny. I'm not a big, like, I love Keanu. I love Keanu. But I'm not. Other side of that hill. I'm not a huge fan of Johnny's, like, sass right this moment. I get it though. I get Almost that he's frustrated okay, because he died and now he's stuck in somebody's head. I get it. But 
It's still frustrating. You want me to make that jump? Here we are. Go ahead, kill the engine. Okay. Are we seriously making this jump? Seriously? This is wasn't this in a Simpsons episode? Um Holy shit, Mitch! What the hell? Oh my gosh. Relax, it's what Scorpion wanted. So that is he Scorpion. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. Oh, I get it. Set him up behind the wheel. Douse the car. Then light it. Let him fly off the edge. Okay. Um, I mean, if that's what he wanted. If that's what he wanted, who am I to judge? I mean, I'm not a nomad. that's what Scorpion wanted. He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. All right, fair enough. Grab me that can, will you? If that's what he wants. All right. Sure. This is very... I mean, whatever the nomad customs are, who am I to judge? Uh, Labyrinth excerpt? So this is this way or that, or no, the other. By ear or by your gut, by your writs or by a shortcut. By any means necessary, cutting crooked corners, past whatever row in a row of corridors and gates. Quickly in the meantime, your time grows short, from one place to another, to one of many still open. Of darkness and plight, but also delight held just ajar, where there's joy through sorrow, though sorrow, lies well nigh nearby, and elsewhere somewhere, where, wheresoever and whereabout, fortunate in misfortune, like a parenthetical pan parenthesis, Acceptance of it all, and suddenly a fall. Excerpt from Wistawa Zimborska's Labyrinth. Okay, I'm taking it. Can I take it? Pick up the gas can. Here you go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. Okay. See the so driver we... is already behind the wheel. Yeah. No point wasting time. Another hour or two, and he'll puff up like a balloon. Okay, so I stand corrected. We did find right. Scorpion's body. Shall we get this show on the road? I guess. Are you absolutely sure this is a good idea? No, V. No, I am not. But it was my best friend's dying wish. So I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen. With or without you. All right, all right. You don't have to get all attitude with me. Dude, I'm trying to help. Sheesh. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. Okay. All right. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! Road be kind to you, friend. Wow. Mitch, don't you dare push me. <laughs> I don't see it. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Well, Soot and ash. That much remains. Just like in Mortal Kombat. Just like Scorpion so, in Mortal Kombat. How about a beer? Why not? Sure, why not? Sure thing. Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Sure. I guess he actually wants me to drink a beer. So, because there was one right there. Um, backpack. Uh, Bados Classic, Stout, Balearic Iraq, Bluegrass, Perfect for Downing Soros Fears and Uninteresting Past, Bolshevik Vodka, Brosef Ale. I feel like it's a Brosef, it's an ale of a beer. He was, Scorpion seemed like a bro. Um, Bloomlint, sure, I'll have a Brosef. Can I use it? There we go. 